5 of the HBL PSL 2018. This is the third edition. Both these sides looking for their first win tonight. Well, here we go. Match 5. And, uh, we're going to see some action, most definitely. Yeah, that's it. That's the start they want. Baz McCullum needs to fire for Lahore to get up running. Get it up and over, says Sunil Narayan. One bounce for four. Thanks for coming. It's nine for none now. Oh, yeah, he is. It's over point. That'll be another boundary. Another one to that square. Oh, that sounded pretty sweet. And boom! It has gone all the way. This time a little quicker and a little bit towards that leg stump and boom! Lots of bottom hand and lots more runs. Six more of them. Two short, smashed. Boom! He says, look, I'll just hit it along the carpet as well. Oh, billiard table four. Whoa, you're going back over your head for six. Whoa, the kookaburra ball, it's flying. You don't get in there. Oh, brilliant. Really is. Pick the gap, pick the player. It's soon on the line. Oh, what a treat. Yeah, 24 off the third. Owen runners loving it. It's 45 for none now. Up, oh, and there's a safe. Who wants it? Oh, that's a cry. Nonchalant. Oh, as easy as you like. I'm taking a stroll through the park on a Saturday evening. Went a bit early, Danny. Narayan, what a handy little cameo that. 28 off 10, and it's 46 for one. That's smashed. Forehand over the top of mid-off. Flat. Confirmation from uh, shows up upstairs. What about this power play, though? Still. Oh, that is a shot. One of the great sights in 2020 global history. That from B. McCullough. Greatest ever. This last one. Oh, and he set it straight up. Caught and bowled. Another jinxing from upstairs. You uh, jinx fucker there, Daddy. It was always going to happen. At 60 for two. Oh, that's worth a shout. That list looks pretty close. Safraz has gone for it. I think it's it's a decent call. I think Wilco might be getting this one. Oh! <laughs> Wilco. Brendan McCullum's gone. Key wicket. And he's gone for 30. It's 60 for three. There goes Delport, down the pitch, oh, that's gone into the crowd. That's gone about seven or eight rows back. Oh, towering, towering hit, he hasn't got enough on this. Anwar Ali's underneath it. Oh, that's a good catch. That is such a good catch. He's a magnificent fielder. It's all big shots at the moment, isn't it? And that's the trappings of the start they got away with. There is a, a feel that you just keep going, you keep going. And they've been thrashing, but now the wickets are tumbling. Nine for four. Ah! Oh, now then, now then, now then, yes, no doubt about this one. Hassan Khan strikes. Umar Akmal says he wants to have a look at this. I think he's living on a hope and a prayer. So an unsuccessful DRS review from Umar Akmal. And 
Hassan Khan picks up his first wicket and five down now the Lahore Kalandas after such a great start. Oh, there's a mix-up here, there's a mix-up ah. here, oh. and there's another wicket, the total mix-up. Non-striker was not going anywhere, commitment from the man who plays it into the onside, Raza, and he's walking off. Oh, crazy. Has gone courtesy of a run at Raza, Hassan for four, it's now 89 for six. Nicely played. That one's uh, through the gap, and Kevin Peterson can't get there. <laughs> Come on, big fella. Come on, Kev. You're still young enough and long enough. We're going to give him a raz when he gets back here. <laughs> oh, stop this one. Oh, yes. yes. Was in inks. Chance beautifully taken. That's a great running catch. Hassan Khan is young, he's athletic, he's wonderful to watch in the field. Gave himself a good position to actually take it easy in the end, but it was the acceleration straight off the bat that made that catch look easy. Big wicket. KP likes it. Sadaf goes for 13, and it's 101 for 7. Yeah, Feather Edge and Yasser Shah is gone. It's Shane Watson with a wicket, a straightforward dismissal. Just an edge, straightforward catch by Sefraz. And another one bites the dust. There's been another horror story for them this evening with the bat. 105 for 8, Columbus. Oh, China free. They had no idea what to do with that. It was a straightforward delivery. That's not the first time. A simple ball has taken a scalp. Well, Geoffrey Archer, you know that he's been bowling these Yorkers in Australia and he's now bringing them to the Pakistan Super League. Not quite a Yorker, but it's just bullet straight. Fabulous scene, and he's got off stump in his sights. Stylishly bowled. For not, and it's 106 for nine. That's a good blow. That really is a good blow. He's got talent and serious talent. That's a six over cover. Line not too bad, but the length. It's a half volley. And wow, one knee on the ground. Good swing of the bat. That flew off that bat. Six over cover. Oh, beats him with another Yorker. Direct hit. There's a chance at both ends, in fact, but uh, Kalanda's finished the day with the bat. At a paltry 119 for the loss of nine. Quick to gladiators, they need uh, exactly sixes. They need 120 in 20. He's got some uh, magicians in his side when you think about Sunil Narayan and the Fizz. He's seen it all before, Kevin Peterson. There you go. Jane Watson. He got a bit of tap by bowling, but he's got some of his own. So with three dot balls, and then he hits through the line. It's what he does so well, Shane Watson, getting through the line of the ball, down the ground. Edge. Oh, thought it was finer for a split second, and possibly a chance for the keep of it. Now it's four more. And that is a really powerful shot, Shane Watson. He's a solid boy. He's a solid boy, Shane Watson. And Raza wants to get off this sort of line and length. Good shot there. He just times everything so nicely. He's waited for that. Shane Watson, almost static when he eventually made contact. 
crack. What a goes horizontal. Flat four. End of the over. Power play is over. 41 for no wicket. Little flick from Wado. Very well thought of and very well executed, and it's four. Yeah, he's deadly on a spinning track, Sunil Narayan. But uh, they're not having any issues against him on a good batting strip. Oh, he's hit that well. That is really solid and muscular and rather elegant as well. Six over long off. Well, the 50 truck, happy to be here too. Very quick. 6.3 overs, so we've seen a lap for four. Now we've seen the power from Shane Watson. And he has absolutely hammered that. You know when they don't bother running that they know that that's going for six straight off the bat. Bit of extra bounce and he's dealt with it. And it's flown off the edge. Little that Brendan McCullum could do about that. And this over has already gone for 15. gone big how big how big six it's gone for 21 and that equals Narine's most expensive over in the PSL it's gone for 21 again and it's a 50 for Shane Watson his first half century for his new franchise the Quetta Gladiators seven gone 62 without loss Let's pick this up just short of a length straight to the man a deep mid-wicket, and it's Cameron Delport who drops it. Oh, Shane Watson, sweetly struck for another six. Ten overs gone, the Gladiators are 85 for no wicket. Shuffle back on the crease. He'll keep the strike for the next over, Shane Watson. That's the end of the 11th. It's 90 for no loss. So Shane Watson has gone. He's uh, walking back to the pavilion. It's been a magnificent and brutal innings from the Australian, but it comes to an end. Yeah, that one spun sharply. Yeah, cramped him and uh, yeah, big inside edge, shattering the stumps, bowl him, yes. Sunil Narayan gets the wicket. So punishing innings, a blistering innings comes to an end. 66 from 42, it's 92 for one, gladiators. Bunted to the onside, pushing hard for two and coming back. And yeah, needs to uh, scamper, gets there. So immediately off the mark. Oh, mix up, and uh, the ball not embedded in that hand, so a run out missed. He's gone big, it'll go all the way. Another six in the tournament. It is uh, brilliant hitting, and Shafiq this time. 18 required. Yeah, it's a very good comeback by the Gladiators. They weren't as engaged as they've been today or tonight. Good with the ball and now excellent with the bat. So good to see Asa Shafiq there having a good matured innings. And he goes again. He's got hold of it. Another one in the over. Brilliant hitting. And all of a sudden, he's on a charge. He wants to get into the sheds and say, that's the night. Yeah, made a great sound. The ball is not spinning, so it was an easy shot really to execute against the spin. Over oh, long on. 
Balance was good. Exposed the stumps. Yasasha been hit for the second six in the over. Oh, and he's been sent back again. So a little bit of a mix up, but a big over. 13 from it. It's 108 for one. Oh, it's nicely played. It'll be at least two. You just feel with Shafiq, he wants to finish it very quickly. Oh, there's that been blistered through the offside. Now it's only four required. Absolutely smashed. Yeah, gladiators muscling their way through to a great win here. You can call it pasting because... There's been a lot of action from uh, the batsman. And that is it. What a stunning way to finish it. Straight drive against Sernal Narayan. And Quetta have got up. Quetta's largest win by wickets in the history of the HBL, PSL, in this third edition. Owners, fans are on their feet rejoicing. This tremendous performance. They have blown away the Lahore calendars here quite comfortably. Congratulations. Yeah, lovely finish from uh, Uma Amin. Straight back down the ground. So in summary, 119 for nine off their 20 never really in the contest only mccallum there and then the sooner the ryan they got out and it just really did stall so 120 for one and 14 overs win by nine